Welcome to CellGen V50. New features include three new cell patterns, a UV grid pattern with an adjustable number of rows and columns, a UV seam padding feature that scales down the whole pattern, an adjustable border width to thicken the borders, and also a new nuclear pore pattern that is highly adjustable. The new repeat four sides pattern helps with UV seams. This is useful when your object's UVs have been rotated or flipped like this. You can see that this old pattern no longer is seamless. This is what it looks like with our grid. And when we put on our repeat for side pattern, the seam goes away. So no matter which way it's flipped, it's not going to have a seam. And the repeat for sides pattern is also useful when dealing with the primitive hexahedron. And we can see how the UVs are laid out here on this primitive in Cinema 4D. And we've got our one tile right here, and our other tiles are looped around the object. And so with this top tile, no matter which way we were to rotate this UV pattern, there's always going to be a mismatch on the edge. And the repeat four sides pattern takes care of that issue. The organic pattern has seams. And the repeat four sides pattern is also useful on these more complicated shapes such as this one here. And I wanted a model that didn't have any seams because this is a 360 environment. And uh, rotate this turntable camera around a little bit. You can see the environment doesn't have any seams in it. Basically laid out all these UVs for each quad. And then tiled the texture. 20 times in each direction to match the UV layout. And then I went into the cell gen and used the UV seam padding to shrink the pattern 0.95 and 0.95. so they would fit inside each of these UV squares and also leave enough room around the edge here to bake in the lighting and be able to bleed over the border. And here's an example of uh, just some lights that got baked into the shape. And because I was able to bleed the bake out over the edges, You're not really seeing any seams between each of these squares, these UV tiles. Get a nice clean light bake here. And this is what it looks like in the texture map. And the next artwork pattern, cell pattern, is capillary. As you can see, there are fewer cells in this pattern to approximate a, a capillary look that wasn't possible with the other um, organic pattern where we have so many cells here. So we'll go back to the capillary. Here's our capillary pattern. 
And this was made in such a way that it uh, can have a nice seamless effect around the fork of a vessel. And in this case I just duplicated this model and reverse the normals so that we could have these same cells on the inside. And there's no seams. Another nice thing about this pattern is it can be repeated. And if we give it a 2-2, two, two, you can see that it's still giving a nice look. And still have less cells than the original pattern. We can also elongate the cells here by changing our repetition to make them a little longer and give them a directionality to them. Or you can just have them kind of short squat if you like. And the way this model was made is a cage model. And it's made up of little parts. It's pretty simple. The way I laid these parts out was I started out with uh, just these planes that the UVs were laid out like this. And I just folded them into a shape like that. And did the same thing here. Left myself a nice square shape to hook into. I put these guys here and then connected them. And that's the result for the capillary. And the other new features here are around the nuclear pores. It's a new pattern. And they have a plain old value just to fade them on or off. Uh, they have a color value that can be changed and not muddied out by other colors behind them. It's a pure color. They also have a, a blur ability. So you can blur these pores out. They also have a uh, multiplier. So you can control just how fine they are depending on what cell pattern you're using. These do bend with the nucleus, and as we scale up the size of the nucleus, they they bend around the edges a little bit. If we bring our nuclear blur a little bit less, you can see that a little better. And so in summary, this cell gen version 50 has had some controls added to it and different artwork added to it to help with UV mapping. We have original organic, we have our repeat on four sides, we have our capillary pattern, and our cuboidal pattern. Also have this UV grid artwork intended as a helper to visualize our directionality of our UVs which can be helpful when you're finding seams and when working with complicated shapes like this one here. You can see the arrows are pointing in all different directions. And this is a, a good case for the repeat on four sides. If we use our original pattern start to see some seams in our, our artwork. That are fixed by choosing the repeat on four sides. And that about sums it up.